Hi guys, I'm Angelique van Sel, and in this video I'm going to look at some examples on how to construct a graph showing different market equilibrium situations. I'm going to do four examples with you. So I'm going to give you a little sentence describing what is happening and then we're going to go from there. First one. The price of strawberry jam has increased. Illustrate using a graph how this could affect the market price and quantity in the apricot jam market. Now, you should be able to pick up that strawberry jam and apricot jam are substitutes. So I'm going to draw two graphs. Firstly, for strawberry jam, and we have to illustrate a movement along the curve for strawberry jam. So this will basically just be a normal demand curve and I just have to show that there has been an increase in the price. So basically what I'm going to illustrate is just saying that it went from P to P1 and the price has increased. And this is a movement along the strawberry jams demand curve. Now, for apricot jam. I need to show a curve shift. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with an original demand curve and a original supply curve. And I am going to show the equilibrium point on them, which is over here. And I then have to know what's going to happen. Remember, the price of strawberry jam has increased. If strawberry jam and apricot jam are substitutes, they normally have a positive relationship. So if the price of the one increases, the demand for the other one will increase because people are going to go for a cheaper option. And apricot jam is it. So the demand for apricot jam will increase. And this is an increase, so an outward shift from D to D1, which then results in my new equilibrium point over here, E1. And now we can see that if this was my original price, and this was my original quantity, and I now have to put a new set of little dotted lines in here to illustrate my new price, and quantity, that's not going to be my Q1 over here, and that was my P1 over there. And I can now see that my price has increased, and you have to show your little arrows and the detail on your curve work or your graph work, otherwise you're going to lose marks. And then that results over here in my quantity increasing from Q to Q1. And that's our first example done. Example number two. Government has subsidized the public bus industry. Illustrate using a graph how this could affect the market price and quantity in this industry, meaning the bus industry. Again, we are going to start with my original demand curve and my original supply curve. Illustrate your equilibrium point. Give me your original price and your original market quantity. Now, if government subsidizes the public bus industry, 
you should know, and if you had a look at my previous videos, a subsidy means that government has given them money to fund their operations. So what they want in return is that this bus industry will increase their service delivery. So in other words, increase their supply. So an increase in the supply would be from S to S1, and that will create our new equilibrium point E1 over here. And this will result in a new price and a new quantity P1 Q1. And we can see with the subsidy that the price has now decreased and my quantity has increased. Example number three. Government has increased income taxes which resulted in a decrease in disposable incomes of the country's people. Illustrate using a graph how this could affect the market price and quantity in the tourism industry. Again, I'm going to start with my normal demand curve and my normal supply curve. I'm going to put my equilibrium point down. I'm going to put the original price and quantity down. And now I have to look at what they've given me. So income taxes has increased, leaving me with less disposable income in the country. So which curve has shifted, demand or supply? The answer is demand. Demand would have decreased. So this decrease would be from D to D1. And our new equilibrium point being E1 over here and our new price P1 and our new quantity Q1. Now I can see that my price has decreased from P to P1 and my quantity has decreased as well. Example number four. Orange farmers are using labor-intensive production methods. The workers are demanding a 5% increase in their wage. Illustrate using a graph how this could affect the market price and quantity for oranges. So let's start with our original demand curve and our original supply curve. And we will also have our equilibrium point and we will have our price and our quantity. I just want to explain something quickly. Labor intensive production methods. This just means that they are using more workers or more labor in their production than they are using machinery. So if workers are going to want a higher wage, it's definitely going to increase your costs. So that's something that this orange farmers need to understand and incorporate when they're making decisions. So this will definitely or most of the time affect the supply. So your supply will decrease. So supply decrease is an inward shift. So we can see here that as the supply decreases because it costs the orange farmers more money now to employ these people. And this will result in a new price and a new quantity, P1 and Q1, and a new equilibrium point. Let's not forget about that. And we can see that the price now due to the supply decreasing has increased from P to P1, and the quantity has decreased. Awesome. Now you know how to draw up graphs to illustrate different scenarios in terms of supply and demand curves. I hope my examples were helpful in helping you construct your own and that you will also love graphs as much as I do because I absolutely adore graphs. And I hope it was really helpful. But if you find that it was helpful, please give it a like. And please go and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys really, really soon.
Thank you. Goodbye.